Hi, Karen Ray. I just recently did a video uh, where I was sharing some of my successes and failures um, using the Law of Attraction and visualizing. And um, I put that video out there and I got a comment where somebody said, um, if it works sometimes and then it doesn't, then we shouldn't call it a law. And it's funny because I was just having a conversation uh, with my husband about that. Uh, we were talking about some of the laws that we have on the books now that they're trying to remove because it is so difficult to interpret. It can't be considered a law because a law you have to be able to interpret. You know, it has to be cut and dry. It has to be clear. What is the law? And if you can't do that, then it's not of law. So it's interesting that I just got this comment and um, I wanted to respond to it in in well in in a video because it's it was it was too difficult to put into you know just to to write it out so it's interesting when we um, when we talk about the law of attraction and I said how it did and didn't work for me and um, and 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 it's true if something is a law it's it is it, it is what it is like the law of gravity you know um, the law of gravity is what it is, and it just respond. And it's it's you can't change it, so it's a law, just like a law of nature. A law of nature is, um, you know, it is what it is. And oh, by the way, I'm sitting in my backyard in Virginia, and it's a sunny July day. So I've got my my visor here and my sunglasses, and so I just look funny. But anyway back to this law, the law of attraction. And it is true. The reason it's called the law is because it is something, it is like an act of nature. But the reason that we can say that it, or the reason I said that sometimes it worked for me and sometimes it didn't, is because I didn't really understand the law. And um, so it's a matter of, if, of uh, understanding this law. Now, sometimes um, we interpret the law incorrectly, or we in just, <laughs> uh, for example, when we were having this discussion about a law, I, we were saying kind of like tra a traffic law. You know, like, how would you know what the speed limit was unless it's, you know, the speed limit says it's 60 miles per hour, so that's the law. If you but what if you were going 60 miles an hour and it was snowing or raining? And you got into an accident. Well, you weren't breaking the law because you're going 60 miles an hour. But someone could come along and interpret saying, well, you're going too fast for conditions. So thus, you, you get this fine. So there is a little bit of gray there when it comes to a law, right? Well, that's man's laws, so that might be a little bit different. But then again, we're dealing with human beings, human mankind, uh, interpreting, um, let's say, interpreting laws of creation, laws of the universe, laws of the way things work. And that's where we kind of came up with this law of attraction. Because what mankind, what people have noticed, is that um, there is this law, like, um, like gravity, that... Um, just the way things work. The way that people interact with their environment, there seems to be um, this particular law that happens. And when we don't really understand this law or we don't interact with it the way that this law works, that's where we don't get the results. So when I say sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, it's not that the law is not doing what the law does. It's that the law works perfectly. We don't always get the results that we want because of how we are interacting with this law. And the, when the law of attraction, um, when we're talking about the law of attraction, um, and then I also, um, you know, was using visualization. Well, visualization is just a technique that we use with our mind that helps us to really um, to interact with this law of attraction. And it helps us to get 
the desires the, or the desirable results when we um, participate in a certain way with this law. And um, in my next video, I will give you some other resources and books um, to help you understand this. Well, um, for example, um, As a Man Thinketh, look that up. And The Science of Getting Rich is all, I mean, this, it's because, and it's this science. So we're talking about this, this law of nature. And um, so I was a person of faith. So at first I struggled with some of these concepts because I thought they, I thought they interfered with my belief system. But the more that I researched it, the more that I let my mind open up and wrap around what this was trying to teach me, it's that it's all saying the same thing. These laws of nature, these, these, the nature of the universe and how we interact with them is really um, how we as, as divinely created spiritual beings um, were divine, were um, created to interact with this incredible universe that was created. And the way that I understand it is that we were actually divinely created to, um, to live in this incredible universe that was designed and created to work, to interact and work for us. And this is how we get blessed. And if we don't understand this, those blessings are not going to come into your life. So it's not that the law works and doesn't work. It works perfectly all the time. We just don't understand it. And so we are interacting with it in a way that we are getting the results according to this law. But if we don't like the results, that just means that we are interpreting or we are misunderstanding what's going on. And we're not getting our what the desired results. So in order for us to get our desired results, we have to understand what is going on. We have to make corrections and for order for this to work for us. So um, more, more on this the next time and how I discovered um, some of the mistakes I was making in order to interact and to work with this law of nature. So more tomorrow. Karen Ray, have a blessed day.